that's the cool stuff that comes out of realizing you can't get rid of the ether in physics and put it back in um, or vacuum fluctuations and um, and which are in quantum field theory but that's been ignored largely um, but basically it says that um, well you know it tells us that like what else is going on in the vacuum you know if if you're an information network structure um you know no information that cannot get lost right so um it can only continue to evolve um so that says something deep about you know life after life for sure um if you're an information network then since information cannot disappear um well you know actually when when people say people die you know i mean nothing really disappeared um meaning all the atoms they're made of all all the stuff they've ever been made of is still on the planet somewhere or off the planet if it flew off in some tornado or you know um but um you know it it um it um it has a lot of potential um uh, to describe you know what people describe as out of body experience and experiencing their consciousness in non local area you know non locally meaning you know experiencing their body being i don't know laying in bed or sitting somewhere and at the same time experiencing you know being in a in a facility you know across the world from where they are um and being able to describe it what the people call remote viewing uh you know like all these things that um some of them have been uh explored more than others and confirmed more than others like certainly remote viewing has been confirmed and published in peer review journals that are very serious physics journals the best ones um all all the way back to the 70s i believe um but certainly you know out of body experience and all this can start to make sense and i i always say this you know it's like spirituality is just physics we haven't understood yet like what spiritual phenomena that people have had you know experiences that so many people have uh that they might they might only have them once in their lifetime uh or they might happen quite commonly they don't just they don't necessarily pay attention to that um for instance you know what people call deja vu experiences or uh you know you think of somebody and all of a sudden they call you know and they haven't talked to you in a year um uh, yeah things like that and you know like these little hints almost that life gives us along the way that what's visible is not the whole thing and actually from the physics we're discovering now in fact what's visible is only you know a very small part of what is which is the vacuum energy which is much larger and really the material world is just like a little small teeny dynamic of what's actually there um and so that uh that starts to really answer those questions at the deeper level and uh i think that it's absolutely appropriate to think about it in terms of science it's just difficult to discuss it or to think about it in terms of science because um it's has a tendency to not be well received by the current institutions um but it's not like it's not happening it's not like it's not been measured in some cases and it's certainly not because it's you know people are not having those experiences they are having those experiences and those experiences are very valid experiences uh and i think they're telling us something about our nature that's much deeper 
uh, about our our capacity as well to interact with the vacuum consciously and to influence the vacuum to influence the ether what i call vacuum engineering um you know and uh and uh i i think it's important for people to know this it's not necessarily some voodoo thing um you know in some kind of spiritual realm it's very much tied to the physical and to the way um physics works to produce the physical world.